Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the categories function of your WordPress system. So, there's three things I want to explain to you. Number one, what are categories? And then number two, how to use them? And number three, how to create subcategories? And that'll all make sense of what they are exactly at that point. So basically first, what are categories and why do they even exist on your site? So, here's the thing, here's what categories are. Uh, categories are basically ways there's specific links that group content together based off of a topic so let's say for example here let's say for instance right now if so if you just went on a blog and it has all these postings right well let's say that this one posting is one that interests you right you're like oh sellers your home isn't worth that much and this one's one that interests you and I click on this posting right and I'm a visitor by the way I'm a visitor visiting a site and I'm like oh, okay um, I like the article there's I want to read more about this this topic well, since, since a category archives information based off a topic, what I would do as a user is click on, okay, what category is this in? And I see, okay, it's in featured, it's in how's the market, and I would click on, let's say, how's the market. Now, when I click on how's the market, that brings me to this category that pretty much shows me all the postings having to do with, with the topic how's the market. So, unlike the home page that showed all the postings in general, here was the home page just showing all the latest postings. Categories create create archives or basically um, we could call them uh, hallways, catalogs of specific content you choose. All right. So basically the whole idea is a category is meant for you to organize your content by topic. Because think about it, when you start blogging today and a year from now, you're going to have loads of blog postings and you're going to want to have those organized by content and by topic. All right. So uh, look, let's say this for example, just to show you even more. Let's say I click on business of the month. That's going to show me different postings than when I click on, than when I click on the one that says just listed, for instance. Now it shows me these, and obviously the topics aren't matching because this is a demo site. But still, you see the point. So now um, you want to do this because it makes it easy for your visitors to find content that they like on your site so let's say if I'm visiting your site and I'm like oh I see categories and I'm a buyer I might click on first time home buyer or I might click on the buyer category or I, or I might click on um, how to buy like an investor whatever topic you have whatever is that whatever it is that you write about alright so understand categories are massively important for organizing content for usability so now how the heck do we add them alright well, here's how you add categories. There's two ways. I want to show you the the first way is under categories here. When you click on categories, you have this option. You have this section here. All right. Now, in this section, you could add new categories here. Let's say I want to call this my test category. And now you could all you do is scroll. You could ignore all this stuff. Um, this stuff doesn't apply to your site unless we're talking about it. We'll talk about this separately and everything. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that separately. So now we click on add new category and you see now how it shows up here. But what I did was I clicked on add new category. I go over this stuff on a separate video tutorial. All right, so check out that video tutorial to see what these SEO details are for your categories as well as your headline and content. All right, but basically, I clicked on add new category category and we see it here now let's say you want to add an extra subcategory meaning uh, my test category let's just actually call it something let's call it um, um, buyers looking for deals I'm just making this up just for the sake of a simple one notice how I clicked on edit and all I did was erase the slug I put in my new title so when I put in update category I have the proper slug and I have the proper title now let's make a subcategory meaning uh, what's going to be a, another topic that could go into this one that may apply to even more users? So how do we even organize my content more? So I have buyers looking for deals. Maybe I have first-time home buyers. And now what I do is under parent, we click on buyers looking for deals, which is not here yet because I had to refresh the page. So refresh the page. If that if that happens, you have to refresh the page and now see if it reorganized. Now you could enter it again. So now I click on first, first time home buyers, and now under parent, I'm gonna click on buyers looking for deals. And what that does now, when I scroll down, I click on add new category. 
it's going to give me right here. See the hyphen? First time home buyers. Just like the page, just like the uh, sub pages work. The reason why you'd want to have subcategories is just to make a very broad topic more specific. Maybe you have mortgage and then you can put hyphen your subtopics FHA, you know, uh, first one, maybe, uh, let's say, yeah, vet, uh, VA, you know, whatever the, whatever the sky's, the sky's the limit. All right, so basically, that's how subcategories work. Now let's actually go into adding these into your blog postings, all right? How do you choose a category before you publish it? Here's what you have to do for that. You go under post, go under add new. And now let's just do our regular posting stuff like normal. Test post with category, I'll call it. And here is here's our content. Okay, there's our content now. And now um, what you want to do is to add a category, all you have to do is the following. Right here under categories box, you have something called all all categories or most used. Just make sure you're in all categories, that way you don't miss any. And let's say this was one of those first time home buyers or buyers looking for deals. What you want to do is click on buyers looking for deals. And if it has to do with first time home buyers as well, click on first time home buyers. And then after that, you just hit publish. Now there's a couple things I want to teach you about these categories if you forget to put them and how the category function actually works. All right, so we clicked on, so now our post is published. We have it in two categories, buyers looking for deals and first time home buyers. Let's view this post. Now you see here, see right across the top where it says home, it tells you it's in buyers looking for deals, first time home buyers, as well as here, posted in buyers looking for deals, first time home buyers. So now if I click on any of these categories, it's going to show me all the postings having to do with this category. So here's first time home buyers, right? If I click on buyers looking for deals category, it's going to show me this same posting here, all right? So Here's one thing I want to explain. You know how we talked about sub pages, right? Well, let's go back to this is the first time home buyer category, and I'm going to open in a new window the the uh, buyers looking for deals category. Notice this in the URL. Check out the URL of of the first time home buyers category. Remember, this is a subcategory of buyers looking for deals. So check out the URL. It's category forward slash the parent category and then the sub sub uh, sub category here compare that to the just the buyers looking for deals category and you'll see that just this is the parent here all right so that's how you add a category into your blog postings here's a couple things just to just to show you as well uh, other other functions you might you need to know on how categories work you can also add categories from here so let's say you're like right here right before you publish a post and you're like okay um, this post has to do not just with first time home buyers, it actually has to do with investors, but you don't have an investor category. You can also add it here. So click on add new category. What you want to do is click on investors or type investors. And then obviously if investors you're saying it's a part of buyers looking for deals, you would choose the parent category, buyer looking for deals. And then click on add new category. That's another way to add it. And see now we have our categories here. You could uncheck first time home buyers because you're saying that this is not one of the or it doesn't apply to first time home buyers it applies to investors and now you click update now we still have two more things I want to explain about categories though before we're done now we update the post and now when we view the posting notice how it's now in buyers looking for deals it's in investors and it still says it here as well now here's what I want to explain now about this category function two things when you choose a sub category, you don't have to choose the parent category. All right, meaning, let's say if you're like this is an investor posting and it has to do with buyers looking for deals. Well, you technically don't have to click on this one because if you choose the sub category, it's going to automatically put it into the parent category. Here's what I mean by that. So I click on update, right? Meaning I'm only choosing one sub category as the main one. I click on update. And now that it's updated completely, pretty yeah. Now it's updated completely. I hit refresh on this page, and now you see when I see the categories here: home, investors, because now it says it's posted in investors. 
when I click on investors, see how it takes me to the to the investor page that has it. Well, if I also go to buy, if I go to the category buyers looking for deals, so here's remember here's the URL. See buyers looking for deals, investors. If I just go to the category buyers looking for deals by itself. It's still going to show all the postings inside of it, but instead it's going to organize them. See how it says buyers looking for deals and it says in investors? Well, that just means when you when you added the posting, you didn't have to choose buyers looking for deals as the parent page just because it's a sub page. So just keep that in mind. There, um, There's no right or wrong way. My personal preference is that when you create categories, you want to choose the one or two specific categories that it applies to. You don't have to choose the parent one. That's why I mentioned this. And now one more thing, the final thing. Let's say that you don't choose any categories. Let's say you forgot, right? You're like, oops, I forgot to choose a category. And then you click on update your posting or you click on publish your posting. Well, here's what's going to happen. If you forget to choose a category, by default, it's going to go into the one called latest news. All right, And here's what that means unless you changed it in your in your WordPress panel you have one default category that you cannot you can't delete you see how all these have checkboxes you have one default one that you can't delete it's called latest news it's what we named it for you so if you forget to put a category in your blog posting if you forget to check one off it automatically is going to default into latest news for you alright so keep that in mind now just another quick thing while we're here on categories, another important thing to know, let's say you want to delete a category, right? Let's say you're like, okay, um, I no longer want the categories called uh, any of these. Let's say you no longer want the buyers looking for deals, you no longer want first time home buyers or investors, but let's say that this posting was in, in all of them. We click update, just to let, just to show you, I need to, uh, you need to see this function. So, so now our posting, Let's actually refresh this page. I want to explain to you how deleting categories does not delete the blog postings in them. So that's the whole point. So you see here how we have these three categories and it says that there's one post in each. It's really the same posting. Remember the, the posting we just did, it's the same posting. So you see here, test post, test post with category, it's in all three categories. Same thing applies for all of them. So basically, let's say if you're like, you no longer want these categories. You're like the first time the buyers looking for deals, first time home buyers and investors, you want to delete them. Well, understand this. When you delete a category, it does not delete the postings inside of them. What happens is when you delete a category, the postings inside of them automatically go into your default category of latest news. So you're going to see how that happens. I'm going to click on delete. I select all of them. You can either delete them individually by hovering over it, clicking on delete and it, it'll delete and now if it doesn't show up as deleted that's fine just hit refresh you might get an error at the top for some reason that happens sometimes if that happens that's that's totally fine now let's find the other two categories we wanted to delete investors and first-time home buyers let's say you want to delete them all in one fell swoop we'll drop down click on delete click apply and then you might get an error page if this happens that's okay like I said just hit refresh and then know that it did delete. See item deleted. So now, what happened to the blog post? Well, what happened is the blog post went into latest news and it might be considered uncategorized. So let's go into latest news category. Actually, wait a second. You don't go to latest news. What you have to do is go to the following. Remember, because deleting categories doesn't delete blog posting. So when you go to put when you go back to your post page to look at all your postings. You're going you're gonna to see under categories, test post with category, the one that we're working on, it's going to say uncategorized, which means you deleted the category so it doesn't know where it belongs. So you have to recategorize this. Just click on quick edit and choose the category this belongs to. So let's just say this is latest news. Now we update and now we properly have our stuff organized. So make sure that if you ever delete categories, you do not leave them uncategorized. You don't want things that say uncategorized. You always want to have it in a category so that way it's found by the search engines when they crawl your website. All right. So that's everything you need to know. Go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and let me know if you have any questions. Tizish is spelled the way you see it here. Take care.